in the name of Jesus drought in your life that even when it is physical rainy season it is still dry season spiritually financially and otherwise I decree and declare let the rain begin to fall let the rain begin to fall let the rain begin to fall you welcome to another spirit filled message on christocentric message if you're new to this channel i would entreat you to hit on that subscribe button and then to like this video as well i would want you to share this message across because we believe that as this message is coming forth it's going to bless you your graces are going to be imparted onto you and then god is going to visit your home thank you for watching stay blessed this is the kind of the model of prayer that you use to counter negative speakings did you get that now that someone looks at you and says everybody in this unit is a useless person immediately a scripture wells from you it's not that you have to reply that person immediately because there's wisdom remember so someone looks at you and says, the way you are looking sick like this, as if you are going to die soon. A scripture just comes up. And the moment you find a chance, no, I, I shall not die. I shall not die. They are life to those who find them and health to their flesh. Are we together now? Yes. The advantage of this prayer is that it keeps reinforcing that truth to your consciousness. Because generally speaking, speaking reinforces the reality of thoughts. This is psychology. You agree with me on that? That any time you speak a thing, the reality is still is crystallized in your mind again. You get up in the morning and you celebrate God. This is the day the Lord has made. Who made the day? Not the Lord and Satan. The Lord had made therefore I rejoice anything fighting my joy today in the name of Jesus I come against you on account of that declaration that means my joy was factored in the making of that day so you find two people who leave their homes in the morning please listen on the streets of Lagos someone leaves their home rejoicing and you say how are you they say I'm fine they are rejoicing they get to the office and they say listen um, we decided to choose one person to send abroad and you are the person who came to our mind and someone is frowning because a merry heart do it good like medicine are we together now but that a broken spirit can dry up the bones you get up in the morning and you declare in the name of Jesus joy joy unspeakable full of glory no one disturbs my joy and peace today you have already frustrated the person Satan has positioned and every time God sees that something good is coming you notice things begin to happen around your life your office you are angry your son wants to do something you're almost going to slap him no it's an attack because it is with joy we reap are we together now scriptural prayer models number two joy some of you right now as you are here God has been telling you cheer up since yesterday what God sent from heaven has refused to arrive do you know why because gloominess and sadness has created an embargo you believe what I'm teaching you yes I am the head and not the tail please say it believe what you are saying say I'm the head and not the tail yes sir the Bible says you are above and not beneath and while you are saying that because Satan is a deceiver he will come and stand around the corridors of your mind and say with that rent issue what did you say again the head hear yourself and you say it again I am the head and not the tail and then you can add while we look not at the things that are seen but the things that are unseen for the things that are seen are temporal temporal the court case temporal the issue of shame and reproach temporal still looking for the school fees of your son but temporal yes the visa was declined but temporal temporal but the things that are unseen unseen not unreal unseen not unreal just because you cannot see it does not mean it doesn't exist hallelujah 
the works of my hands blessed god gives you a store you don't go there and start quarreling and say this lady today is your last day if you don't mm -mm, it's too you you are already frustrating your path to growth i'm showing you how to participate with heaven you step into your mall or your store excuse yourself for a minute and close the door in the name of jesus the bible says everything i do is blessed is it in your bible whatsoever he doeth help me whatsoever he doeth you step into that store lay your hands and say in the name of jesus god is bringing strategic people relationships are coming to me today not useless relationships destiny defining relationships troublemakers are far from my destiny god is bringing the right people you get up and you expect favor the bible says his messes are new every morning have you received today's own declaring scripture declaring scripture declaring scripture you get up and you find yourself that you you were somewhere you fell into a ditch and you died bring yourself back to life by waking up <laughs> that death in the dream should end there are we together and then you don't just get up and say god forbid god forbid is not prayer god forbid based on what you see the things that we keep saying that makes our prayer ineffective god forbid i know you are sincere but the realm of the spirit does not work like that there has to be a basis based on what the bible said i said before you life and death i said before you blessing and cursing who is god speaking to this morning he said choose life choose life one of the ways you choose life is to verbalize it if i tell you choose between this flower and this monitor one of the ways you by pointing and then you can say i choose the flower loud enough for me to hear you you cannot tell me you choose the flower then i give you this it means i'm a deceiver god says choose life choose life choose life when men say there is a casting down my declaration in the name of the lord and add your children in that confession that they shall say there is a lifting up i'm challenging every mother here don't keep quiet this is not the time to keep quiet satan is looking for families he would destroy looking for men that you will shred their testimonies do you know that the spirit of depression the first thing that the spirit of depression does is it brings you to a point of silence find out people who are depressed they've come to a point where they've given up on life and they just keep quiet sir you know there is a way and it just keeps quiet after five minutes he says that person is almost dying but thou oh lord had a shield for me my glory you lift my head but thou, O oh Lord, art a shield for me, my glory, the lifter up of my head. Sing it one more time. But thou, O oh Lord, art a shield for me, my glory, you lift my head. But thou, O oh Lord, art a shield for me. Many of you have heard me say, there are some of you, the only thing that comes out of your mouth is why is it that everybody hates me? First, you are a liar because it's impossible to be hated by everybody. You may have heard me say that even Satan is not hated by everybody. There are people who know that he's the devil and still love him. There are wives that agree to spend their lives with terrorists. Am I right on that? They know the person is an assassin, is a killer. And yet he went and met her parents and the lady was willing. Everybody cannot hate you. Is the devil deceiving you? And what you need is one person sent by God who loves you. One. How many? One. I tell you, one. How many people had to love Joseph to become a prime minister? Ten? Fifteen? One. 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 So when you get up in the morning, 
Father, in the name of Jesus, there has to be someone who delights in my son to hold his hands and lift him to be great. I'm calling that person forth by prophecy. When Jesus was born as a little baby, there were wise men that saw the stars. Is that in your Bible? The Bible says they took gifts of gold, of frankincense and myrrh, and they came to greet baby Jesus, not entrepreneur Jesus, not savior Jesus. Declaring scripture, declaring scripture, declaring scripture. Go back home, on your way home, even if it's only one scripture you know weary life with that scripture speak it until it becomes a reality declare ye that thou might test be justified there are no assumptions in the spirit let me tell you the truth if i did not understand this model i submit to you by the integrity of god's word i would have died a long time ago a long time ago don't just accept everything that comes to your life build a garrison with the word and don't wait for someone to just speak it over you you are principally the first prophet of your life principally hallelujah the bible says i will multiply them they shall not be few i will glorify them they shall not be small speak that over your business the Bible says in Psalm 112, parents, this is a women conference. Blessed is the man that feared the Lord, who delighted greatly in his commands. His seed shall be mighty. As a mother, you would declare, I didn't give birth to pain. It's not my child that will send me to my grave. In the name of Jesus, every spirit trying to turn this boy to become a disappointment, I am not discouraged. I look beyond that stubborn child and I see a giant rising because the Bible says his seed shall be mighty see it shall be mighty we see it shall be mighty are we together you declare over this church that it's not only spiritually vibrant men and women who arise but people who are great people of means and people of capacity genesis 17 and verse 6 i will make thee exceeding fruitful he says Give it to us, please. And I will make nations of thee, and kings shall come out of thee. Not kings shall come to you. Does that sound like what comes out of a woman? So what you are holding called a baby is a king, royalty, greatness. You're my glory, the lifter up of my head. You're my glory. So prayer model number one, let's do a quick recap. Praying in the spirit, praying in tongues. Number two, declaring scriptures in prayer. Can I give you number three? Number three is called the prayer of inquiry. Hmm. This is a very powerful model. Please follow carefully. The prayer of inquiry. That means you can, in the place of prayer, the purpose of that prayer is not to declare. The purpose of that prayer is to come back with answers. The prayer of inquiry. First Samuel chapter 30, please. And verse 8. First Samuel chapter 30. Is God helping someone's prayer life? Let's read it together, please, if you can see. Are you ready? One, two, read, please. And David inquired at the Lord, saying, Shall I pursue after this troop? Shall I overtake them? And he answered him, Pursue, for thou shalt surely overtake them, and without fail recover all. This is the kind of prayer to pray before you take major, sensitive, destiny-defining decisions the prayer of inquiry do you know why this prayer is important because the bible says there is a way that seemeth right unto a man believers listen to me there is a way that seemeth right unto a preacher there is a way that seemeth right unto a young graduate there is a way that seemeth right unto a nigerian but the bible says the end you can see it looking very attractive. I hope you know Satan does not use evil alone to destroy. When he uses evil and you can detect it, he will use good. For instance, 
a visa on your passport a visa on your passport does not necessarily mean god wants you to relocate now there's nothing wrong with relocating are we together but i'm saying that there are many times satan will use good things to destroy you sometimes an employment letter can be the worst thing that would have happened to you hmm. what god intends to give you is not good against evil is life because both good and evil came from the same tree so there are times that satan will use a lot of good if he sees that you are fighting bad friends he will bring good friends who can destroy you the most important thing is that you are destroyed are we together when satan came to jesus how many of you know that what he used for his temptation the raw material for tempting jesus was it is written he did not tell him go and take a bottle of some alcohol that the roman soldiers take no he came and said it is written he shall put his angels charge i mean if you hear someone quoting scripture that much you want that person to be your friend and yet the name of the person quoting it is satan so just because something carries the carriage of good i pray that god is helping someone this morning there are many good things that are destructive to your destiny i tell you sincerely many good things you must sustain the power to reject both good and bad things the programming that makes you frown on all at only bad things you would have given yourself cheaply to satan weapons are fashioned and fashioning is a product of study what is this person what does this person want at this point oh you are so lonely you need a good friend and satan will bring somebody who is sincere but not wise that person becomes a reason for your destruction everything you tell that person he or she will go and tell everybody because he brought somebody who has not worked with the weak the weakness of managing relationships the person is not evil the person is just not wise oh we are still trusting god for a child we say really okay let's pray and then the next thing you see another person sending you a text in the night that which you are looking for that i've heard about may god give you and you're saying where did this come from now <laughs> good things can destroy you many good things have destroyed destiny many many do you believe what you are hearing should i pursue should i overtake you see sometimes when all the variables are there chances are excellent that you may develop pride and not need god again the certificate is there my uncle is now a senator which is an advantage oh my my sister in america told me you just submit this there's an assurance that in one month your passport will be stamped at that point it doesn't make sense to ask god should i pursue because you suspect what if he says no in the presence of all these great opportunities do you know why many people don't ask god for answers they suspect that he will reject it and you are you are mostly right because the moment you start asking god that means you are saying i am willing to work with whatever you tell me the way we fight god is proof that we were not serious about asking him should i pursue you've already prepared the horse you've dressed the horse you've climbed on the chariot you are ready to go the horse has even started moving and say oh god should i pursue so that it will be on record that i ask you and god will say come back and he say i knew it i reject that spirit it can't be god the bible says the path of the job so you were not really serious about inquiring let me tell you how to hear from god be willing to accept any answer as a sign that you trust his will for your life if not your hearing will always be wrong i can tell you 90 percent of our prayer of inquiry we already have our answers what we are largely doing is hoping god agrees with you that's the truth how do i know that the difficulty the way we fight god back after he speaks if you are fortunate and your answer his answer is consistent with what you've always wanted then you now say now i knew it i knew it god should i start that business i already have my 10 million i'm not asking you for money just give me permission 
and God says go ahead and you rejoice say, I this is the kind of God I want to serve but while you are praying and God says that 10 million is not for you bring it to the king's court you say what did I say no God cannot do this kind of bad thing knowing how Nigeria is now this is not God this is a familiar spirit and I curse that spirit God if it's you verify and your first dream becomes somebody that God uses maybe it's even me I would say obey God as he has said you get up and say I hate all these people no I don't <laughs> The prayer of inquiry is a very risky prayer adventure. You must love God and trust him to delve into this one because it would disrupt many of your plans. But one assurance I leave with you is the kind of glory that will come out of your life when God directs you. When he led them, when he led them, Moses said, do not let us depart from here. Let me tell you this. Sometimes using our frame of mind and our frame of thinking our plans can be so beautiful based on how we've seen it but how many of you know that his thoughts are higher than your thoughts help me that his way is higher than your ways god god's thoughts will always be infinitely better and greater than what you ever imagined but you see one thing with god is that he does not strive with the spirit of man for long. There are people today who have lost in business because God told them. They pretended they did not hear him. When the Holy Spirit comes to you, comes to you and you keep resisting him, he will honor you and leave you. But for that consequence, you can be sure you will go through it. Hmm. Please ask God questions. You don't need to ask God silly questions like um should i wear a black shoe or a white shoe he says the answer is in your brain that one god has given you don't have to make a mockery of god like that but let me tell you i am convinced that in a man's life you will not make more than 10 or 20 destiny defining decisions destiny defining decisions are not many it is at such times when seasons are about to change when certain decisions Involve God, though. for instance, where do I relocate for the next 20 years with my children? That's not something to make over coffee. Destinies will suffer from it. Am I wasting your time? Yes. Who do I marry? How many children do I have? Lord, there are five men coming and honestly, based on me, oh, this second one, this the kind of potential I'm seeing there is very convincing. Is that true you've not read of people who turn from grass from uh, what was grace to grass and others who went from grass to grace you would have looked at David if you saw David in the wilderness and you took David to your home maybe they would drive David away but that was a king you were driving away honestly let me tell you to be carnally minded truly is death but to be spiritually minded is life and peace. It is only God who knows the future of men's destinies. And there are times you need to lock up yourself. You have an opportunity for a great job, an oil company, and then God is calling you into ministry. Don't assume. You can assume you are called into ministry and reject the oil company and find out you were not called into the fivefold ministry. You think I'll say it the other way around. There are times where you are not called. The oil company was what you would have taken. And you reject it just assuming that because you will suffer as if God did not call you. And at a point you say, what is wrong? And God will say, I called you generally, but not to this assignment. Every wrong decision wasting your destiny. Some of you made careless destiny decisions and prayed, may the God of mercy, I'm praying again, may the God of mercy help you. May the God of mercy come through for you. In the name of Jesus Christ. When I began to sense in my heart that God would have me leave Zaria to Abuja, I loved Zaria so much. I mean, ministry was going exceptionally well. God was doing something within that region that I had not seen since I came there. 
it was it was a, it was a season of phenomenal ministerial strides how does god come in the midst of nothing and now says i struggled with god for three years and there are prayers where you say god confirm you have asked for trouble god will confirm it anyway you will use dreams a scripture visions enemies friends everything will confirm it god for you it's interesting to know how i finally camped in abuja it was during covid i just returned from london where the last sets of people to leave and i thank god for that i would have been trapped in that place for three months i returned back to abuja preparing to go for a miracle service in zaria when they just announced the lockdown and say nobody is going anywhere i stayed in abuja and that was it you see that now but i used that opportunity alone i started praying and god said finally now that i have your attention this is the new season finally we're stepping into okay i started praying by the map of abuja the map of nigeria the map of africa the map of the globe keep praying on it that is your assignment i look at myself now and wonder what if i resisted and say you don't know what you are doing you don't you are not in zaria oh god i'm the one who knows what is happening he will leave you but you will see that you will keep seeing things in the spirit that you are rising and it will never manifest for some of you after this conference go for a retreat bring your major plans for this year and for the next 10 years don't assume take this as a prophetic instruction don't assume you are about to take decisions that affect your establishment don't hurry decisions no is worth it to if you get a decision right it can redeem 20 years you miss out on a decision is like the hand of the clock it will come back but time will be lost and destiny is measured as a unit of time who is god speaking to please go for a retreat so after this conference thank god for the women go for a retreat lord i'm not going to make this major financial decision major marital decision major ministerial decision i cry unto you the god of all grace speak to me what is the next season of my life church is quiet i'm assuming that the word is entering your spirit praise the name of the lord that's why you can see ordinary people who don't look like it but their decisions are always destiny defining you know why they have mastered the art of engaging this prayer god should i pursue should i overtake should i pursue you will see a building that does not make sense and the spirit of god tells you let's go to the place of prayer fast for two days by the second day god will tell you this building you see a company is coming to buy it in two months buy it now you will sell it for 10 times the price buy it now other people they leave all these carcass but because you had him you can just go with childlike faith and even make a deposit just to trap it down Two weeks later, people are calling you and saying, X, Y, Z, you say, I can't believe it. Is it a scam? They say, no, they need this building. Whatever price, name your price, add profit, add commit, add everything. We still want it. And someone will look at you and say, how, how is your life working like this? The power of hearing from God. This is the model that many of our fathers in the faith taught us. They will tell you, God said this look at where rccg is for instance you know every time i have the opportunity to pass that place i imagine if god told me to go to that place i will most likely disobey honestly i'm being sincere with you under god i will most likely i will ask him for forgiveness later on but most likely i would have disobeyed when you see the end point of prophecy it looks glorious but you rewind in your mind and see that bush that's when you see the power of hearing god but I know whom I have believed and I am persuaded that he is able to keep that which is committed unto him against that day behind the giant strides that trail believers is obedience to something they are sure God said can I tell you this if you take a step 
knowing and or believing it was God that led you and God sees the sincerity of your heart even if you are in error he would defend you for his namesake this is one thing I know about God that means if I walk through this LED believing that it was a door and believing that it was God that told me to walk there. God will carry a door and put there for my sake to make sure that it is not that I trust in him is a risk. Look at what he told Peter. If it be thou, bid me come. Peter verified. This is an example of such prayer. Peter said, tell me if you are the one. And he said, come. Peter took the step of faith. But because he was sinking, God took responsibility. It was at my word and he held him. Don't be afraid of obeying God. There is a system to defend his name in your life. Sometimes when you become too calculative and scientific. Okay, God, you've told me this, but let's consider, we'll review this again in 2027. It won't work that way. There are times you have to trust God and walk on water. This is a word for someone. You have to trust God and walk on water. Being unnecessarily scientific will not get you forward. He said, register the company. Don't ask questions. Go and register the company. Where will I get the contract? Leave that to God. You take a step of faith. He says, go for a three-day retreat. Don't say, God, what for? It's disobedience. You just go there first. After the first day, you are prayed. You are hungry. You don't even know what you are doing in that room. You just stay there. The answer is coming. Hmm. Let me give you the last one. You agreed with me this morning to challenge your prayer life. Oh, I hope we're still together. Yes, Let's review. Number one, praying in the spirit. Number two. Yes. Number three, the prayer of inquiry. Can I give you number four? The second, the fourth model of prayer is warfare. 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 This one, I would not even be tempted to delve in. I would just touch it in a hurry else we'll spend the whole day here warfare prayer warfare prayer hmm. <sighs> philippians chapter 1 and verse 19 the assignment of warfare prayer is to establish the realities that have been finished in christ to make them manifest in your life I like how the Bible puts it. To turn anything to your salvation is the assignment of warfare prayer. Warfare prayer is not about fighting demons. It's not about fighting spirits. It's establishing the victory that is already wrought in Christ. Are we together? Over spirits, over situations, over circumstances. I like the way the Bible puts it. To turn things for your salvation. It says, for I know that this shall turn to my salvation how through your prayers and the supply of the spirit of jesus christ i know that this disappointment i know that this attack my god there are things every believer must know i know that this family crisis i know that this court case the assignment of warfare is to turn anything to your advantage anything anything to your advantage there are times when you come close to a tree when you don't pluck the fruits on time they start rotting and they fall to the ground but the earth has a unique way of turning everything to the advantage of the soil are we together it now becomes manure something that you see bringing flies and smelling around and the earth is not threatened by it it's a mentality you must have. As a believer, you must look at everything from the standpoint of God's sovereign plan. There is still a way God can get glory from this. You were sent away from your work. Okay, the deed has been done. What else can be done from this? I know that even in the midst of this, it can still turn for my salvation. This was Paul's mentality. When he got into prison, he would not sit down and say, God, why me? He would use the opportunity in the prison because he knew something. He would write letters to the churches and say, I hear that you are misbehaving. I'm soon coming out of this prison. I will come and visit you. But in the meantime, correct this, correct that. He was a man who knew that to live is Christ and even to die is gain you must know this warfare prayer 
is predicated on an understanding that all things work together for good please hear me to them that love god not to everybody all things work together for good to them that love god and to them who are the called according to his purposes believe that all things are working for your good truly believe it the disappointment the joblessness including what you think is happening nationally lord i don't know how you do this but because i am the called it must work for my good in the name of jesus christ work for my good and you engage in the place of prayer are we together yeah. scriptural prayer model you may want to correct that i see someone projecting my message scriptural prayer models ends with an s scriptural prayer models please thank you scriptural prayer models warfare now there are people who do not believe in warfare prayer it depends on what you call warfare i personally do not believe in an endless struggle of fighting demons and fighting spirits with no victory in view that becomes an insult to what christ has done on the cross are we together yes however let me assure you that nothing gets established on its own satan and all unclean spirits are stubborn spirits meaning that they have a passion to insist on your pain until you disengage them by light i desire to come to you even i paul once and again he said but satan hindered us knowing that victory has been wrought in christ does not threaten satan is engaging and appropriating that victory that threatens him satan is not afraid of scripture he's afraid of the believer who understands how to engage scripture for your profiting hallelujah he will kill anything he's allowed to kill steal anything he's allowed to steal and you believe me on this destroy anything he's allowed to destroy this is the assignment of warfare prayer haven't done all to stand stand don't assume that god loves your children so much they will be nice wonderful and disciplined people engage in the spirit when you see the cloud when you see the formation of darkness that is the time to take on your priestly regalia and get to the place of prayer the bible says if you turn aside in the day of adversity there is a day in everybody's life called the day of adversity you don't have to be good or bad he informs you pre-informs you so that number one you build prayer strength prayer power for those days and that when those days come you can engage there are times that it looks like all hell have chosen to break loose over you your marriage your children your health are we together now you must know how to engage warfare prayers warfare prayers are serious times of spiritual adventure usually they do not go with you praying alone there are times you need to draw forth the support of other brethren people who love you and understand because you need to engage with power warfare prayer this is very important jesus is about to go to the cross and he goes to gethsemane and the bible tells us that he locked up himself and he was praying until the the um the sweat became like blood dripping from him the question is what kind of prayer is that that the word incarnate the very son of god there have been times in my life where i had to engage that kind of prayer let me give you two information about warfare prayer every time seasons are about to change this is the kind of prayer you need to engage in because satan will always start at stand at the corridor of new seasons birthday periods anniversary periods do you know it was during i told you yesterday it was during a man's birthday that a prophet's head went away i have taught my people and trained them that before you celebrate your birthday if your birthday is on the 12th by 9th or 10th or 11 you should have some time of retreat now not many it's not a, it's not a scriptural injunction it's just a prophetic guide i don't believe in people sleeping and snoring themselves into defining seasons no that is a careless christian in my opinion honestly honestly 
when Jesus was born, there were reactions in the heavens. When Jesus was about to be commissioned, there were reactions. When Jesus was about to start the core of his assignment, his passion, there were reactions. When he died, there were reactions. When he resurrected, there were reactions. On the day of Pentecost, there were reactions. There are certain Kairos moments in our lives where you cannot afford to slumber while men slept. There are defining seasons in your life. You are about to celebrate your birthday, take at least one or two days. Let the people celebrate you, lock yourself and pray. Especially where you are striking very, very notable, you know, points in life. These are survival strategies. Everybody who wants to live serving the purposes of the kingdom and to walk in victory must understand warfare prayer. I will never allow Satan come and roam around my vicinity unattended to. I have the responsibility of sanitizing my spiritual atmosphere and I must do that without fail. He will not respect the fact that you are a man of God. That is not his business. I think I may have said it here. Let me say this and then one point and we'll wrap up. There are spirits listen please there are spirits that are assigned to believers the moment you get born again there are demonic spirits assigned to sabotage the purposes of god in your life number two there are spirits that are assigned to ministerial offices they are not assigned to individuals they are assigned to whatever of if god has called you to be an intercessor there are spirits that will look for you you don't have to call them they will come they were sent to pursue every intercessor because the devil knows the power of prophetic intercession. There are spirits that are assigned to regions. So you relocated to Lagos. Welcome, but there are spirits. It's not only Bureau of Statistics that are where you came. There are spirits who are where you have arrived. Do you know why? They begin to mold you to look like the deformities within that territory. If that territory is known for poverty, if you like be a multi-millionaire, if you don't have spiritual intelligence, you can step into that territory and mysteriously things will start going bad. It's true. It's true. One court case after another, one trouble after another, or they will tell you that three of your relatives need a kidney transplant, 16,000 per one. Can you bring out 50 million? And all these troubles just plague you. In a moment, you try to look like the spirit of the region. I wish I were lying to you. I would have just told you I'm sorry. But it's true. That also includes overseas. So overseas does not have a special closeness to the throne room. No, it's just that the people are a lot more enlightened than we are now and their policies work a lot better than it does here. But as far as the attack of spirits, the whole earth lies in wickedness. You will find spirits everywhere. Now imagine the spirits that attack you as a believer, then a man of God. Spirits that attack families because there is a prophet, there is an apostle that is coming there. And you don't even know where the attack is coming from. You would have looked at all of these people in the Bible and seen the kind of attack that came over them. What is the, What am I looking for now? I'm sure Mary would look at her child and say, why do they want to kill my baby? As for me, I've made a covenant with God that for as long as I'm alive, I will keep Satan far from my life, the ministry God has given me, and everybody God has brought under my care. I take it as a responsibility. One thing I can tell you, Satan is not. He's not a friend. He's not an advisor. There is no discussion you should have with Satan. He is evil, the epitome of evil. He will kill anything he's allowed to kill. I've been sick before. I know what it means to have mysterious infirmities. Warfare prayers. Let me give you the final one. Has God spoken to someone? How many have we considered? Number one, praying in the spirit. Number two, declaring scriptures in prayer. Number three, the prayer of inquiry. Number four, warfare prayers. 
Number five, and this will be the final one. There are many models, but I'll stop here. The prayer of thanksgiving. Hmm. I will tell you how this prayer works. Very powerful. The prayer of thanksgiving. Colossians 4 and verse 2. let's read together ready one two go please continue in prayer and watch in the same with thanksgiving one more time continue in prayer and watch in the same with thanksgiving he says continue in prayer and while you watch engage add to that prayer model thanksgiving let me tell you how this prayer works you convert your request to thanks as an act of faith. Father, I thank you because I am the head and not the tail. Are you getting that now? I thank you because in the name of Jesus, I am blessed. I thank you because I declare that it is well with me. So it's, it's like you are adding declarations, but this time around, thanksgiving is what ushers what you are saying. Lord, I give you thanks. There are times that your entire prayer scope can just be God I thank you the Thanksgiving can come in a song the Thanksgiving can come in a dance the Thanksgiving can come usually this kind of prayer is backed up with giving please listen you want to engage this prayer model it does not just end by saying thank you usually in the midst of your praying God will place it in your heart to support that prayer with a seed with understanding it's true continue in prayer and watching the same with thanksgiving philippians chapter 4 and verse 6 be anxious for nothing the bible says but in everything by prayer and supplication you see there again with thanksgiving connect thanksgiving to the prayer he said let your request be made known unto god Father, I thank you because the Bible declares many are the afflictions of the righteous, but the Lord delivered them from the, him from them all. I thank you because I'm delivered. I'm escaped like the bird escapes from the snare of the faller. I thank you because my day is blessed. I thank you because it is well with me. It is well with my children. Thanksgiving is what proceeds from that prayer. And sometimes when you don't have anything to say, you sing your thanks, you dance your thanks. It is still prayer. A powerful prayer model, in fact. Hallelujah. I think it's God's servant, Bishop David Oedipo, who said the last digit in the, in the thanks, in the faith equation, is thanksgiving. You know, like you press a number, 080-777-112. That two, that last digit is thanksgiving. 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 Thanksgiving is one of the pillars that sustain joy when you give thanks it can turn mourning to dancing it can turn sorrow to joy because thanksgiving mandates first that you reminisce on the faithfulness of god past it's impossible to give thanks without recalling the things he did yesterday in as much as you are trusting him to do something now thanksgiving lord i thank you for what you did yesterday I thank you for my children. Now they are looking for jobs, but I thank you. Because while they were in secondary school, there was a time I did not even know where their school fees would come from. Lord, I give you praise that all these children today, that my son is a professor today. I remember when he was expelled in the secondary school. You have turned my son today to be a preacher. I want to give you thanks. And it is on account of that I can thank you for what you are already doing in his life. Lord, I thank you for my grandchildren. And someone thinks you are just praising God. You are actually praising it is a powerful prayer model hallelujah where you bless him from your heart where you cry thanksgiving from your heart you wake up in the morning this is a great day lord i thank you it is only those who are alive that can praise you i want to tell you thank you because you have given me breath i know there are still issues around my life but i take the time to say thank you I take the time to say thank you. We're about to pray. I hope you'll be able to select at least one of these models and use while we pray. 
you pray in the spirit alone you are doing malpractice you must practice the remaining four all of us can pray in the spirit that one is the holy spirit engaging <laughs> are we together for someone perhaps you may start with the prayer of thanksgiving i see people dropping their prayer request okay so let's do that if you are praying if you are dropping your request you can drop that so that we do this in the next five minutes or thereabout and we're done is it all right if i request that we okay let me just give you one minute to write your prayer request please um ushers if you can allow people to write maybe help someone with a piece of paper it doesn't matter how now you can pray in the spirit while you are writing science has proven that you can pray in the spirit and write it doesn't disrupt your ability to write hallelujah let me recap the prayer models that i've taught you so far number one praying in the spirit praying in tongues number two declaring scriptures in the place of prayer number three engaging the prayer of inquiry asking for answers insisting that the answers come because with those answers directions come number four warfare prayers establishing realities as finished in christ even against principalities powers and antichrist hindrances to your life and destiny and finally the prayer of thanksgiving the prayer of thanksgiving i want you to add something to that fifth point praying with thanksgiving I want you to understand it when you are reading it later on praying with thanksgiving not just the prayer of thanksgiving so that if anybody is reading your notes who was not here they understand what you are saying the prayer of thanksgiving is not just reminiscing on the goodness of god yesterday is adding thanks to your request and so you speak them by faith as though they are already done thank you lord jesus Are we ready to rise and pray if you are done writing your request and by the way i want you to believe please don't just write believe truly there is a god that answers prayers if you are done you can just wave it and someone will be available to pick it please let's do that in one minute hallelujah and for those who are connecting online i'm not sure if you have a chance you can post yours just online on the platforms available for you there else you can just hold your prayer request as a sign of faith and while we pray here you can connect by faith knowing that distance is no barrier and god will step in for you please make sure you write whatever it is that ails you whatever it is that has frustrated your enjoying the greatness the glory the power of god petition that situation and let's watch the god who answers prayer okay we can stand to pray when we're done if you're done please stand and let's pray first prayer point we're going to obtain grace from god to begin to engage every one of these prayer models it takes grace from god to engage these models faithfully while we're waiting for those who are still dropping their requests go ahead and begin to pray ask the lord for grace someone ask your maker the king of kings the king eternal ask him for grace the bible says for everyone that asketh receiveth please ask him for grace father i receive grace my prayer life is fanned back to flames now that i understand these models of prayer in the name of jesus christ mention them one by one i obtain grace to pray in the spirit and to do so consistently i receive grace in the name of jesus who is the son of the living god to be full of the word that i'm able to make declarations prophetic declarations scripture based declarations in the place of prayer someone pray 
Shapra ke parakosko brede ke beratu siata. I decree and declare grace to inquire in the place of prayer, to pray inquiry prayers, to pray inquiry prayers. No more bad, self-limiting choices and decisions. Obtain grace to engage in warfare prayers. Warfare prayers, dethroning the cohorts of hell over your life, the affairs of your destiny. The prayer of thanksgiving. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Please hear me. Let me just give us one prayer point that God is putting in my heart, especially because it's a women program. I, I want every mother to pray for your children and to pray for your home. Um, I was speaking in the UK and I became very alarmed at the rate at which the devil is attacking children. Mental health. Many of them are getting into all kinds of Eastern religions, practices, and some of them come from well-grounded spiritual families. They are sent to school and after one year, they can call their parents and say, just to let you know, I'm not a Christian again. And don't you dare try to question me on it. Who we'll summon you and the powers that be, unfortunately, have created a system that makes this very easy. That children can disown their parents now happily and society can fund that misbehavior and allow things to run let's not take for granted you remember when moses met pharaoh and said let my people go pharaoh said okay here's what will happen we will allow you go but we'll keep the children and moses said no way everybody is going so whether or not you have biological children we're going to pray for all the the future of this church this ministry and every mother if you don't have you have siblings if you are a young person here you can pray over your siblings but please let's pray for one minute satan thus far have you come no further shall you go someone pray thus far have you come no further shall you go thus far have you come no further shall you go thus far have you come no further shall you go Go ahead, pray for the children, pray for the youth here at the King's Court. Mothers, pray that everyone who came out from your womb will serve your God, will live for God, will serve the purposes of the kingdom. It will not be that because you gave birth, society became worse. It will not be that because you had children, you died early. It will not be that because you had children, you backslid spiritually because of frustration. Someone don't be silent. Pray. As for me and my house, we will serve the Lord. As for me and my siblings, as for me and my spouse, as for me and those that God has put within my care. Take a minute to pray. Take a minute to pray. Take a minute to pray. Shabaka parakatoska pres, rakata preka parakatoska parakos. As for me and my house, we will serve the Lord. As for me and my children, we will serve the Lord. Hallelujah. In Jesus' name. Please hear me. Don't be offended at this statement, but it is not the usual for parents to still remain greater than their children when they become adults. No. Are we together? No matter how great the parents are, according to God's destiny program, one day the children should rise 
and become like a giant oak tree but you see what satan is doing now you can find a child that is almost 50 he still say mommy can you please help me with 2000 it's a cause i tell you it's a cause it's a cause are we together that no parent should be the one still feeding their grandchildren they are alive for and still feeding their grandchildren hallelujah father gave birth to his children in that one room or that two bedroom flat the child grew up married he's still in that house and now they're about to have their grandchildren it is not the way god works don't feel condemned if that's your situation i'm just saying that's not how god works someone say father please shout he say father in the name of jesus let my children be greater than me go ahead and pray in my lifetime let me see that greatness not when i die in my lifetime let me see the greatness of my children in my lifetime let me see the glory of god in the life of my children and my grandchildren this is the heritage of the saints someone pray seriously in my lifetime in my lifetime let me see the glory of my child let me see the glory of my daughter let me see the glory of my grandchildren let them build in my lifetime let them marry in my lifetime let them have children in my lifetime let them serve god in my lifetime let the nation celebrate them in my lifetime not when i go to my grave please pray every cause every yoke that makes one generation to be less than the other i come against it in jesus name pray no my children will be greater than me greater spiritually greater financially greater in terms of influence greater in terms of advancement please pray in jesus name we pray in jesus name we pray it is an evil that has destroyed many parents and grandparents in old age where they are supposed to be resting all that frustrates them do you know what killed eli it was the issue of his children eli he already suspected that these boys those boys were supposed to take over from him one of the greatest pain in with the privilege that i've had counseling parents is the pain that they have in old age over issues of succession and the fact that there is nobody who can stand in defense to the family name because the the devil programmed that everybody who can uphold the name becomes a useless person it's an evil every time i read the story of eli i'm disturbed how does a priest become so worried the ark of god then his sons hophni and phinehas you see that and his daughter-in-law had to get into labor i'm not sure it was time but she got into labor because of that stress and she named the child ichabod he said because the glory of god has departed from israel that it should not be that in this family there were once people who serve god but now it has become a place of idolatry it should not be that somebody will look at you and say the trouble that started in your village happened when you gave birth that it was because your child came that means it would have been better you did not even give birth ah look at what naomi said naomi said call me mara don't call me naomi it is sadness and sorrow that has surrounded me my husband is dead all my children dead everything that represents myself what has died call me mara don't call me naomi you know what mara means bitter 
That means my entire life is like I was a bitter pill for people to swallow. One prayer point. You are going to pray for yourself. The Bible says, in thee shall all the families of the earth be blessed. Let's invest in one minute praying for all our mothers and aunties. Nobody will be called Mara. That the story of your life will not be a bitter testimony. Someone pray in one minute from the depth of your heart. Naomi was a good woman. Naomi was not an evil woman. But something plagued Naomi's life all the supports in her life she said don't call me naomi call me mara every mother every woman every sister every auntie by the spirit of the living god Your testimony will not be destroyed. You will not be called Mara. You will not be called Mara. You will not be called Mara. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Please hear me before I kneel to pray. I stand agreeing with the grace upon the angel of this house. Please hear me. If there is any family here and there is a cause you have seen that makes sure that parents never reap from their children. I've seen that. That even when the children rise, just when they're about to be established, something cut short the parents. They die. You believe me, oh, I know what I'm saying. No. The Bible says you will plant and you will reap do you believe that you will plant a stranger should not be the one now enjoying some you will labor you will sleepless night i forbid it for every mother here in the name of jesus now that you are alive you will remain alive hallelujah there are spirits that search for families, search for great destinies. Their assignment is to frustrate that family. That parents in old age, when they should be resting, one report after another. Everybody you raise, both biological and other children, everybody disappoints you. Appa, one person has to fear God enough. Are we together? Do you know why many parents just leave courses as they go to their grave? It's not supposed to be so. When parents are about to go, it's a time to bless. But it's the pain they have gathered for 50 years, 60 years. They just leave a course. I remember a true story many, many years ago. I know about a woman, her son kept bringing pain and embarrassment, and one day in anger, she cursed him. She said, until the day a rat stops stealing, that is the day he will stop stealing. <laughs> Do you think any mother will want to say that? But this is what happens when pain happens. I'm saying it again. Every programming to waste your remaining days, that it will be spent in pain, in regret. I cry unto my God, may he avert it on time. May my God avert pain on time. Avert shame on time. I say it again, avert pain on time. Avert shame on time. Avert pain on time. Avert pain on time. Hmm. Avert pain on time. In the name of Jesus. Your children will not bring you shame. People will not be calling you to use your life as a lesson to warn other people. In the name of Jesus Christ. And I want to pray for every young person here. Whatever wants to slow down your rising, to make sure until your parents die before you rise, that you have, you have promised mama you will build for her. It's not because she needs the building, that you are giving them a taste of their sacrifice. 
I have the privilege and the honor of having my parents alive and I'm grateful to God that I can do the bit that I do for them. When I see the joy and the smiles on their face on account of what God has helped us become, it gives me joy even as a son. Are we together now? Yes. He says, satisfy me early. Is someone ready to pray that prayer? Don't be tired though, we are wrapping up. But this is, you are bargaining with destiny in a profitable way. I pray for every young person here. Whatever has stopped you, 10 years you have graduated but not the first job. You are in Lagos, a place of plenty. I call upon my God in the name of Jesus Christ that in this year 2024, may my God sort your life. Believe it, may my God sort your life. Listen, the Bible says the increase in the field is for all, not for some. The increase in the field is for all. That even the king is fed by that which comes from the field. Every opportunity in Nigeria or the globe is not for a special group of people. No, sir. No, sir. It's for everyone. You must be angry and force your portion out of destiny. Are we together? I say it again. In the name of Jesus, every young man here, and parents, you can agree for your children, whatever is making them slow in destiny, crawling through destiny, we, pro we pronounce speed. Speed of establishment. Speed of accomplishment. In the name of Jesus Christ. Thank you, Jesus. We're going to pray over this now. I believe everybody has their request. Why do we pray on this? Because number one, God tells us to make our request known. No assumptions. And I like to pray on requests like this. You know why? Because this is the most accurate expectation or ex expression of your expectation. Nobody is going to read it. This is between you and the God of heaven. But I like you to pray. Tell him, Lord, for the sake of your glory, let there be answers to this prayer. Go ahead and pray. For the sake of your glory, let there be. Please go ahead and pray. Just take one minute. I'm laying my hands on this request, praying on them. Worthy is your name, Jesus. You deserve the praise. Worthy is your name. Worthy is your name, Jesus. You deserve the praise. Worthy. One more time. Worthy is your name. Jesus. You deserve. Hallelujah. 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 I'm not a prophet of doom, but I'm going to say this. 
I just saw something that I, I trust. I know God wants to avert it. I'm looking at a truck that carries goods like maybe biscuits or something. I'm seeing it collide with a Corolla car and everybody in that car dying. I pray in the name of Jesus Christ. Nobody here, nobody here, it will not be said anybody here died. Please don't be afraid. I'm not a prophet of doom. But when God reveals like this, whether it's for you or for your loved ones, I say it again. From now till the end of the year, you will not bury anybody. Not by accident. Not by sickness. In the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. It will not be that your child will go out in the morning and you will not find the person again. In the name of Jesus. Listen, let me tell you. People related to me, I remember one of my dear sons in ministry, they were coming back from a program and they just called me. I think it was from, where was that? They just ambushed all of them and kidnapped the first vehicle could run away but they kidnapped the other ones and i they just said within 24 or 48 hours the first thing was about at 50 million or so they said if it's not brought they would shoot everybody one by one and these people are heartless people let me tell you the truth they would do it eventually like that people had to beg i will not tell you how much i had to pay eventually as ransom evil is bad though evil is bad is the reason why believers must receive prophetic words your whole savings can go in one day because of the evil heartedness of someone i say it again you will not sow for another man to reap you will not sow for another man to reap you will not sow for another man to reap in the name of jesus your going out is blessed. If you leave your house, you must return back. I say to a believer, if you leave your house, you must return back. And for every request that is here represented in the name of Jesus, no matter what that situation is, we call upon the God of heaven to turn this request to answers. Speedy answers in the mighty name of jesus in the mighty name of jesus i use this opportunity to pray for the foundations of sapphire eight this is eight years am i right eight is the number of new beginnings everything that represents the old old pains old wounds old shame we declare let it go with yesterday welcome to your new season season of grace season of speed season of breakthrough greater capacity in the spirit greater unity among the women in the name of jesus shout amen seven times let's give jesus a big hand clap hallelujah praise the name of the lord now they didn't request that i do this but i want to challenge someone and my apologies if i break any protocol but i want to challenge someone as god has placed in your life hello beloved in christ we hope this message was a blessing to you i would want you to do something for us if you are new here kindly hit on that subscribe button for us and then like this video as well share to your family and friends to bless them because we know that this message will be a blessing to their body to their soul and to their spirit we would need you to do one thing for us too tell us in the comment section where you were watching us from and if you've got any testimony for us kindly share with us thank you for watching